Hello everybody, Squifflet here. As part of the new attack strategy series, uh, this is the first episode. We're going to be looking at the Go Wipe today. Um, very uh, big attack for Town Hall 8. Everyone's doing it and it's a really successful attack. Really versatile, you can attack almost any base with it. Um, and so we're going to be looking at three different base styles um, with three different Go Wipe attacks. And um, and then we're going to discuss them after. So let's get the video underway and uh, talk about some go wipes. Alright, so looking at this base that Little D is facing, um, there's an easy uh, CC draw and underdeveloped walls. And it looks like you're going to go in from the weaker side, which should be that southwest side with the golden walls. Um, yeah, so let's see how the attack goes. Right, so this little D's attack. Let's watch it. Sends the hog in there. Draws a CC nicely. Now, I'm going to drag the CC down to the uh, bottom corner there. Because, um, like I said, he's going to go in from the uh, from that southwest side with gold balls. There he goes in. The important thing here is that the dragon is going to target the golem before he puts the wizards in. And then that way the dragon will not retarget the wizards. Um, and they can quite easily take him down without losing any wizards. Unfortunately the rage wall breakers didn't make it through to that, uh, to that inner wall. That's going to slow things up a bit. But luckily the uh, rest of the troops get a nice boost from that rage spell anyway. Now little D does something different here that I don't normally do. Um, little D's got um, witches in his clan castle. Um, so they're going to provide lots of meat shields. Um, but not a, not a lot in the way of damage. Um, so let's see, how, let's see how that works for him. Um, so anyway, we're through into the centre compartment. Tunnel's down. Everything's going down, down in the middle. Um, the stuff that was going around the perimeter um, fizzled out around the per perimeter. Um, what I do is I put um, peckers in around the outside to uh, just look after the wizards and whatnot that are going around the outside. Um, anyway, these witches are giving it some. Some buildings split in some different places. Like one of the witches has gone down. Uh, the other which is uh, going strong, so creating lots of skeletons, but there's uh, still skeletons up around the corner, so she's not really making too many more. Um, yeah, and then as you can see, it's just a case of you know it's gonna, you know it's gonna be a hundred percent freestyle. It's just a matter of time now. I think that witch has got full health. I don't think she's been touched. So yeah, it can it can work for you. There's a situation for it, you know. There's 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 something to be said for it. And then the last cannon goes down. Bang, hundred percent free star. Decent go wipe. Right, so next up we're going to be looking at the attack that Just did. Um, it's going to be a draw for the CC to the southwest side and then go in from the southwest side. Um, peckers around the outside and like the rest of the stuff in the middle. And then just like a little clear up at the end. Let's see how it goes. Right, okay, this is the attack that Just did. Hog in, clan castle out. There's a loon in, loon in the clan castle this time as well. Archers to bring them to the extremities. Now they're actually close enough here to not need the other one, but puts the other one in anyway. Poison spell. This is going to get rid of the loon. And then once that loon's gone, the poison spell's all but done anyway. Um, so then we can carry on with the attack. Right, two golems in. Right, that dragon's breathe fire on them golems, that means 
That means they're targeted. That means the dragon won't retarget the wizards. Wall breakers through. So the wall breakers have uh, had a bit of damage, but again, not through to the core, unfortunately. But we've still got two rages and a hill left. And got some CC troops. We've still got five wizards on the go as well. There's that giant bomb. That's only gone onto that golem, which is a good thing. That picker's round the outside on his own. Um, other picker inside. Uh, Tan all down. That rage spell's gone in. Raged them up nicely. Another giant bomb. Luckily, the big trips around that again. Not many casualties to that giant bomb. I think the important thing here is that Pekka's still going. Around that outside. Other Pekka's are going as well. Again, we've got another situation where there's split buildings. Which is a shame. I mean, because sometimes that can be the difference. I mean, in one of the last wars that I've done, I had some uh, I had some split buildings and it cost me the free star. But we've got the big guns here, we've got a few wizards, you know. So it's gonna be all good at the end of the day. Here we go. Let's cut the buildings job done. Right, so this is my attack. Um, going to obviously pull the CC out to the bottom corner there. Um, then go in with the golems, get the rage spell in. Going to uh, get the wizards in, take out the dragon. Um, then going to get the wall breakers in, get through to the core. Then barbarian king, uh, Pekka in the middle, two Pekkas around the outside with some wizards as well. And then rage and heal. Um, as required, so let's see how it goes. Well, let's see how mine goes. Hug in, clan castle out, archer in. I was lucky to only get a dragon in here, but still, I still went the, I still went away at a poison spell. a little bit of damage probably not needed you know I'm probably gonna save that for the barbarian king or or um, also any skeletons that popped out you know anyway golems in and again watch I'll wait I'll wait for that dragon to target that golem and then in with the wizards and that way that dragon's going down without touching any of the wizards rage spell in and look at these elite wall breakers straight through to the core and then look, doing some extra damage elsewhere as well. Alright, now I've put a Pekka on either side and one in the middle with the Barbarian King. So then the middle guys, the Golems, the Barbarian King, the Pekka, they're all doing the business in the middle. Alright, and then the Pekkas around the outside of the base, they're taking shit so the Wizards don't have to, you know what I mean? So then the Wizards are going to go around clearing up the outside defences and the outside of the base. So that's that's all good. In the core there you see the has gone down. Didn't even notice it go down, it went down so fast. Um, and then, yeah, like I say, look, them wizards are going around the outside. Clearing house, clearing house. And then everything else is just me shield, really. good thing about it this time we've got no split buildings now nah. the reason why I sent it I sent them pickers around the outside is because in one of my other attacks I had split buildings and uh, and it wasn't helpful you know what I mean there we go last building job done and I've got to say that's one of my best go wipes I, I, I don't do them sort of go wipes every day but that's one of my best go wipes so you got you got to strive to be like that. Well, I have anyway. 
So, quick breakdown of what I feel are the most important parts of a good go wipe. CC pull. If possible, it is critical to pull the CC. You can freestyle with a YOLO go wipe, but it's nearly always better to dispatch the CC troops as efficiently as possible. Always use poison if there are smaller troops um, with the dragon in the defending clan castle, like loons or a wizard and an archer. Um, remember to let the dragon engage the golem before putting wizards in range. Also, un level 5 wall breaker. When raged, can destroy um, a level 7 wall. Um, I find that dropping a rage, so that just a bit of the spell is outside the outer wall. Then put wall breakers in two or three at a time. Um, time of deployment of your wall breakers so they don't get killed by mortar splashes. And sending a peck up around each side with a few wizards will clear almost all the perimeters uh, defenses almost all the time. Then get the BK um, and then your CC pecker into the core with a hill and a rage as required. Once all is in, just watch, keep those fingers crossed that bad AI don't ruin your uh, attack. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter. Links are in the description.